K-State dorm is being inspected from top to bottom after students reported mold in their rooms. And KSNT News reporter Kelly Saberi found out that students are concerned about their health. For college freshmen, the first semester is an exciting time. Choosing classes, sorority rush, and living in the dorms. But students living in Kenny Ford Hall didn't anticipate they'd be so sick so frequently. She was hospitalized because um, her asthma, she had mold growing in her lungs. Like all of our symptoms kept leading back to mold and then everybody was like, wait a second. They searched their ceilings for more answers after the students received an email from the school reassuring them that there was no mold in their building. It says if your space smells or seems grimy, it is important that you are cleaning on a regular basis with a list of tips to clean their rooms. It was a little bit condescending, but um, I, she just really wasn't aware and she thought that the girls were being dramatic, I think, um, which is pretty insensitive. So the fact that they were like, oh, well, you guys are gross. After the school confirmed that there is no mold problem, one freshman took matters into her own hands by using a mold testing kit. And this is what grew over the weekend. The student who shared the Petri dish with us has requested to remain anonymous. She first thought she and her roommates were getting sick as part of the adjustment to college life, but is now convinced it's the mold. However, the school says they have only found four incidents of mold so far in their search, and they are continuing to do so today. And we're also putting a uh, prohibitive paint over top of that space to keep future mold from growing. So we are following the EPA guidelines and the environmental health safety guidelines about how to remove mold. Um, we're also doing samples of that mold. And when this project's finished, we will go back through and test the air quality. In Manhattan, Kelly Saberi, KSNT News. And the school says the process will take a few days to search the entire building. K-State says the other dorms will be checked for